down, you have, you know, guys you've talked about before going multiple positions. I mean, what does it do for you putting Asp Asplund in the middle, giving him a shot there today? Yeah, unfortunately, Z's, Z's not uh, feeling a little under the weather, so he didn't make the trip as a result. Feeling better today, though, uh, based on this morning's report, so that's good. And then, you know, Aspie's played, played a bit of center, and... Uh, you know, five guys should be interchangeable. I think the face-offs would be the big thing, and Oki can take some draws there uh, as well. You're going to go up against another really good goalie, probably two games in a row, two of the best three goalies in the NHL. I know that's not the way you approach your team when you talk about it, but how do you maybe help them not to get frustration in their game when they're playing such good goalies? Yeah, you just have to play, uh, play and play hard. I think there's enough... Uh, uh, reasons to feel good about your game if you're if you're our guys individually um, coming out of last game um, you've got to you know these guys our guys you know train hard work hard uh, and they believe in their ability so as long as we have that uh, I'm confident that uh, things will be positive for us I don't worry too much about uh, I mean a good goalie is you're in the NHL so everybody's good you got to have that uh, you know you accept that I guess so not too concerned with that. You know, you, you talk many times about being the youngest team in the league, and a lot of times the atmosphere would get to a young team. It's been the opposite with this team. You have Vegas, Montreal, Boston, Washington. You've thrived in some of the most hostile environments. This is another one tonight. Why do you think that is? That's not the norm for a real young team. Oh, it's a, it's a great sign, first of all, to, to be able to handle that pressure. I think uh, there's more pressure on us at home because our guys care so much. They, they, they care about our fans. They care about our city. And I think that's where you see us uh, being, tight. being tighter. They just, I can tell, you know, I've been around lots of teams, lots of players for lots of years. Um, and, and to me, it's, it's evident to me. Um, they put more pressure and it becomes negative pressure on themselves at home uh, than they would on the, on the road. And, uh, you know, they've thrived in, in these type of situations, loud buildings, uh, when, when it's only us 20 and there's, you know, 18 to 20,000 people against us. Uh, they've seemed to, to, to embrace that uh, very much. Winnipeg made it difficult early to get through the neutral zone. Then you guys solved that as the game went on. Nashville's a very defensive team, too. Are they the type of team, too, that will try to do that? Yeah, very similar to, to Winnipeg. They're, they want to play in your face. They'll you know, overload the puck area. Uh, you know, For us, within the game the other day, uh, that was dramatically different than, uh, th than the game previous to that. Um, we needed to, to, you know, gauge the tempo of each game. Um, I think coming out of last game, there'll be a little less gauging. I think we'll realize this team plays a similar, similar style in your face, and you know, you battle a little harder. Support uh, uh, to your teammate is a little bit uh, more important. Um, you can't spread the ice too quick when you have guys in your face. You've got to support to the puck a little more tactically. And we saw that progress and get better uh, as the game went the other day. We also saw that, uh, easily see that in, in our opportunities and chances we had for us uh, was much better support. How do you handle Yossi? I mean, you've got Dialing, they have Yossi. How do you handle him? You know, he's, he's another great defenseman, mobile, agile, uh, much like uh, you know, Winnipeg has a top defenseman, uh, Colorado. So we've played, we've played these types of players, and, and we don't we don't look at it as as the specific player. It's a, you know, in, in this case tonight it's Yossi, but it's a it's a great athlete within our league, and uh, our guys have been a, done a great job of it. It takes more than one, uh, but there's absolutely tactically things you, you need to do against highly skilled guys, and uh, our guys have done well against it. So another night with another challenge, and we look forward to that. Don, Rasmus Stalin has said that a, a big part for his, big part of his success this year, he credits to just being himself and not trying to be someone he's not, and it's helped him on the ice. How have you seen that maybe change in, in demeanor help his game this year? Yeah, I mean, it's been a real progression for him, a continual progression. Uh, he's a guy that just put too much pressure on himself. Uh, you, you, you need to put, I mean, it's okay to put healthy pressure on yourself and, and demand. Uh, he, he was excessive. He took, he took things too hard. Um, you know, he, he, there's lots of expectations on any player, especially players drafted number one overall. And um, when, you, when you try to live up to that, you, lose, you can lose yourself a little bit. And, uh, and, and lose being in the moment. And so he's, he's I think, done a great job to, to just stay in the moment uh, and do what he can do and accept that, hey, you can't do everything. Uh, and that's made 
that, that's that's allowed him to, to have a lot more control. Uh, he was probably giving up too much control, trying to be too perfect uh, at any recall, moment. I'm sorry to interrupt. Do you recall a specific moment, game, something like that, where you where maybe you talked to him about that, or you sensed that shift from him? Yeah, we we've had lots of talks on that, um, and it, it's been a progression. Uh, you know, a big shifts through the off season when he has time to just you know decompress, uh, reflect. Um, continue to grow he's 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 made himself a better athlete so even the competition becomes easier he's become bigger and stronger and quicker and uh, added more skill to his game um, you know through the off season uh, with hindsight from the season itself prior and you know when you're as competitive as he he is and you love the game the way he does lots of these players make leaps in the summertime uh, because they can just step back and and he's one of them and so you know the start of the year he was way better than he was at the end of the year last year and he was great for us even at the end so um, and I think at his age um, he, he was still working from a base that there's still a high ceiling and he's going to continue to improve. Even like you look at the play, the play against Connor is not a play he makes very often at all I mean that that just happened. He, not to tell him what he did wrong, he knows what he did wrong, but do you have to do maybe pull him aside and say, because I'm sure he was hard on himself when that happened. I'm sure he beat himself up about it. And do you have to pull him aside for, on this one and say, hey, it, it happened, move on? Well, on, on that one, there's always there's always more than just him. I mean, when you when you give up a, a breakaway, we, we had another defenseman that shrunk his own. So his pass option was, was a forced pass option by his teammate. Mm -hmm. Uh, so you, you, you got to go way beyond Rasmus on, on that play that but you're speaking But he would still be of. hard on himself. Oh, he's he? absolutely hard on himself. He's always hard on himself, and th that's, you know, that's why he's great because he's hard on himself. You know, the guys that aren't as hard on themselves that say oh, I was, you know, it was out of their control and it was blame something else. He, he doesn't blame anybody but himself. But I can tell you, uh, in his defense. Um, we, we shrunk the zone. We, we, we had plenty of space and we took time and space away from ourselves. We didn't give him options. Mm -hmm. The options he had were very tight to coverage. So uh, it was way more than just a mistake with him. Uh, although, uh, as you're, you're saying, everybody will perceive that it was just Rasmus. It, it, that's, that's why I say we, we're running into that, that thing again where you blame one guy and you can't on that particular play. It's, it's, there's a lot of blame. There was no net front presence at the time, so he couldn't shoot. It was, would have been an easy save for Hellebuck if you look at the film. So, you know, his mistake was probably buying a little, should have bought a little bit more time, but uh, hey, the game happens fast, and, uh, but much more than, than his fault on that one, definitely.